Hello everyone, Moreau Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel in another Miami vlog. You guys, I just ended the last vlog today and just started this video today because we have so much going on. So if you're interested in that, do not forget to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle and travel videos. So I've been in Miami for a few days now. I stayed over at Boulogne. I usually stay there, but I am staying at a brand new place because I want to give you guys like a different feel of places that you can stay in Miami, places you can eat in Miami, things you can do in Miami since I'm moving here. <laughs> so I want you guys to have a 411. We are at the W Hotel. I believe in like one of the previous Art Basel vlogs, I came to an event here. I've been to a few events here. I've been to Mr. Chow here in a recent, not a recent, but an older vlog. I've never actually stayed here, so really excited to be staying here. The decor is absolutely stunning. Uh, I love it. This might be my new jam, you guys. This might be my new jam. So let me go ahead and give you guys a room tour. I'm gonna give you all of the details. I'm including my room number if you wanna get the same room. And then we're gonna get into my outfit of the day. I'm gonna rewind and take you guys back to a really cool brunch that I had today, which was incredible. And then we're gonna get ourselves ready because we're heading out to dinner tonight. It's a scene anytime I'm in Miami. Anywho, let's get into this room tour. So I am staying in a King studio at the W Hotel. I'm on the sixth floor. I'm in room 618 in case you want, you know, a similar room. It is absolutely sunny. They have done a renovation in here. Like you pull up, everyone is helping you. The lobby is stunning. Every time I come here, I love the lobby space, but the room. You open the door into a beach side oasis, you guys. Of course they have the light, Birchwood floors with a chevron. I absolutely love that. Y'all know I'm getting into decorating because it's gonna be time to decorate my house soon. So once you come in to the immediate left, you have a mini bar. It's all black and shiny and lacquered. I love it. It's very sexy, very dim. There is a coffee machine, an espresso. You guys know I gotta have my coffee in the morning. There's also a myriad of snacks. <laughs> And we are probably gonna get into those snacks too. Your girl loves a good snack. And I also love that there's lots of cabinet space. There's a little sink, a little wet bar there. There is also a microwave, which is incredible. Lots of like hotels don't have microwaves and I love eating out and taking things to go. I'm not one of those people who just eats and like eats everything on my plate. I wanna be able to like take something home if I don't finish it and warm it up because it always tastes better the second time around. Y'all know what I mean. Anywho, they have a microwave, they also have a refrigerator, like a little mini bar, refrigerated drinks and such, which is wonderful. And to your left, there is a beautiful like frosted glass door. You open that into a lovely bathroom. Y'all know, I need some really good light in bathrooms and there is amazing light to do your makeup in at the W. A lot of places are dark and dreary. No, not at the W. So much light. There's a huge double vanity sink. Great for just storing all my makeup, all my beauty products. The bathroom and the actual shower are at opposite ends of the bathroom with the sink in the middle, which I absolutely love. I love that they're far apart, this is great. Of course they have a waterfall shower, all nice and glass encased with marble, really lovely. Can't wait to hop into that shower, I'm gonna do that as soon as I finish recording this part of the video. And of course they have a separate area for the bathroom. I'm loving the artwork here as well. It looks like a lot of black and white and colorful photos from like around the beach area here, which I like that they incorporated that. Okay, so then you walk in a little bit further and to your left you have a lot of closet space. There is three separate little closets with cabinet space, lots and lots of hangers. You have your ironing board, you have your iron, you have literally everything you need, especially if you're a fashion girl. And they don't skimp on the hangers. Y'all know a girl needs a lot of hangers. Um, and then you come through into this massive room. This room is huge and I absolutely love it. It's all white. It looks like it's freshly painted. 
I'm loving like the design on the walls, how they actually have texture and are mostly 3D. There is three huge, and I mean huge, glass mirrors um, for your outfit selfies, which is really nice. The bed is absolutely massive. It looks so comfortable. I'm loving the wicker design on the headboard. And I also love the circular nightstands. You have everything you need. You have water, you have a Bluetooth radio, you have outlets, everything. And I love how the bottom of the bed also lights up. Really, really cool feature, love that. To the left, they have a little space where you can put your um, luggage or suitcase. There's of course a work area, a desk which with two drawers, which is great, and a chair and a trash bin. Of course, they have like some liqueurs out. I see a little Patron bottle and some Belvedere. We might have to get into that. And there's also a huge flat screen TV that comes off the wall, which is nice in case I wanna indulge in my shows. And they also have a little card here. It's called Codes to the Castle with um, QRS codes for literally everything. Room service, mini bar. If you wanna rent umbrellas or chairs for the beach, you can literally do everything from your phone, which is incredible. And then of course we have this little sitting area that I am in. I love the carpet. I love that they actually incorporated color. A lot of beach hotels keep everything really white really beige, monochrome, monotone, very stark because that's in right now, but I love that they have color in here, they have texture, they have these two green velvet chairs, and I believe they swivel. They look like they might swivel. I'm gonna get on one and see. And then they have this beautiful like watermelon colored, uh, like the inside of a watermelon rug, and a huge round marble table. They have this lovely beige couch that I'm on. It looks like a blue clay, almost. I love this couch. It's low, it's really comfy. They have this mirror here, and a huge artwork across from me of the beach. But you guys, the piece de resistance is the view. This view is absolutely stunning. I believe they the way that they built this is so every room has some kind of view of the beach and I love that. I love it. I have a huge terrace, you open it up, you just step out into the breeze. You can see all the way down South Beach. You can see the sand and the palm trees and the waves of the ocean. It's just really stunning, like it's beautiful. And of course there is some balcony furniture out there where you can sit and just relax. I cannot wait to wake up in the morning, make myself a coffee and step out there and just look at the ocean. This might be my favorite hotel. It might be my favorite hotel. I think I might be staying here from now on. And it is a lot more affordable than the one where I usually stay. And on the one, you don't get these views. No, no, no. Unless you have a, an ocean room, which can be very, very expensive. The views are incredible. And of course, I'm still in like the same area where I'm very close to Jolie Juice. I'm very close to my nail spot. I'm close to everything I really like around here. So absolutely loving this hotel. Mm, it's stunning. All right, guys, let me show you my outfit of the day. Earlier today, I met up with my girl, Real Michelle, and we went to brunch. So I definitely want to show you guys my outfit. The lip is... Fenty Unveil, it's a beautiful brown. The earrings are Ana Luisa. The necklace, the necklace says are from Majuri. This oversized white top is everything. It's like a cotton, it has super long sleeves that actually kind of fold up. And this is a new buy. I believe I got it from Forward and it is a Norma Kamali bodysuit. I know it looks like a shirt, but down here, it's literally like white underwear. It's a bodysuit and then it literally kind of like bulges out into a top, which is so cool. So it just looks like you have the best tucked in shirt ever, but it's just made like that. And then you can kind of sit the crease wherever your pants are or your skirt is. And what I actually love about this top is, <laughs> sorry, it's Velcro. So like, there's a Velcro strip here to close it, and there's one here. There's no buttons, so it looks super crisp, very chic. If you happen to watch my top 10 winter essentials video, then you know a, a nice long sleeve crisp white top was on the list, and this one is just doing wonders. I'm wearing a size medium, and I would definitely link this below. Norma Kawali has some incredible 
tops. The jeans are H&M. They're just some high-waisted mom jeans that I've had for a while with a seam down the back. I actually wore these recently to a Miami Heat game. And the shoes are my Bottega white mules. They are my favorite. They go with everything. They're super chic. They're comfortable. I can wear them all day long. And then of course, I'm wearing my cowrie shell anklet. You guys love this anklet. So I will link similars down below. Most of them I find on Etsy for like less than 10 bucks. So that is today's look. There might be better light in the bathroom. I'm not sure. But what we're going to do is rewind to earlier today. And I'm gonna take you guys with me to Backdoor Monkey, which is like a sushi kind of fusion place. It gets popping for brunch. We will rewind. I will take you through that whole experience. And then we will come back here and I'll get ready for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, so I put on my Soma Intimates 
kimono robe. Sorry if there's a little bit of an echo in here. Um, I'm just gonna refresh my makeup and then get ready for dinner tonight. Today is all about food, clearly. <sighs> Let's do a little recap. Me and my girl Rhea linked up and we went to, why can't I remember the name of this place? Monkey, something monkey. It was actually really, really good. I love the ambiance in there, very kitschy, very fun. You can tell that it's going to be like a place to be. It was really kind of quiet when we got in there, which I love. We were like there right when it opened at one for brunch. After a while, maybe like 1.32, it started to get a lot more lively, more people. A live DJ came. We got a ton of food. We had sushi, we had crab salad, tuna tartare, various meats that you could cook on like a little stone, a roll that you could like, the guy came and like set it on fire, which was really cool. I mean, that tasted amazing. Like literally everything that we had was so delicious. Um, even the drinks were good. Like everything was really good. And the price for everything is really great as well. Especially if you go with like a group of friends for like a fun brunch day. Definitely check them out. Lots of good photo opportunities in there too if you're into getting some content, which a lot of us are, let's face it. We wanna go to places that look cute. That was great. Like I had a wonderful time there. Got nice and buzzed. So shout out to them for inviting Rhea. And shout out to Rhea for inviting your girl. Um, I had an amazing time there. Remember, any place I go, anything I do, anything I wear, I always put it down in the description box. So if you're visiting, just make sure to check out any of my Miami blogs. All, all of the details will be below the video. In the description box, you can just expand it and then you will have the tea on where to go and what to do and who to see and you know, all the tea. So tonight we are going to Sexy Fish, which is a new restaurant here in Miami Beach. The first restaurant we went to earlier today, that was actually in Wynwood. I mean, I'm not often in Wynwood, but I would definitely like to go over there more. Lots of really cool restaurants are popping up over there. Um, and I also saw like while I was standing outside waiting for my Alto to pick us up, I saw a bike cart. So you guys, I, they sent me a gift. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. Sorry I'm getting like interrupted, but this is a wonderful interruption. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Are we like coming to place it for you? Uh, right on the table is fine. Yes, yeah, so like, uh, round table? Yes. So you guys, like I checked in, like I booked this all on my own. All of the hotels I've stayed at, I paid for them with my own money. I never like try and ask to get a discount or anything. I just go ahead and pay and I always like share it with you all, but I don't know how they know that I'm an influencer. <laughs> um, maybe it's through my email, I don't know, but um, before I even got here, I got an email from like guest services saying like, oh, we have a special treat for you when you check in. Um, do you like champagne or wine? And I was like, give me all the champagne, okay? And then I have a concierge person that's literally my person the entire time I'm here. And I was just like, this is great. Like I'm getting this special treatment. I wonder why I should ask. Cause I have no idea like why I'm getting such special treatment. They sent me a beautiful card that says, welcome to South Beach. We are so happy to have you with us. Wishing you an amazing stay. And look what they brought. O M G. So they have a Hello Kitty white chocolate cake or white chocolate and then i take this little mallet and i break it open and inside is like all different kinds of treats i don't know if you guys saw but when i pulled up to the hotel they have like hello kitty statues right in front of the w which is cool and they also brought me a huge bottle of champagne 1818 uh, and two glasses and it's on ice like should i pop this now you guys I mean, this is hospitality. Look, this might be my new favorite hotel, y'all. This might be my new favorites. Look, I'm gonna put the deets down below. The location is amazing. And so far, like everything has been amazing. And I've only literally been here for like an hour. Anywho, I don't think I can partake in this right now. I'm gonna save it for 
champagne in the morning or perhaps when I get back. But I wanna freshen up my makeup. I'm gonna take off this lip because I wanna wear a red lip. This place is called Sexy Fish. I'm not sure what kind of food they have, but sexy is in the name. So I wanna wear something really sexy. I can't wait to show you guys my outfit of the night, but I'm just thrilled. Wow, this is really nice. Like I'm gonna have to ask them, like do they know I'm an influencer? Do they watch my channel? Like, how do they know who I am, who I am? This is very strange. Hmm. I think I know some people in high places. Anywho, I'm using some of this Physician's Formula Coconut Milk to remove my lipstick because I literally left my makeup remover in New York, which wasn't very smart. I know it looks nuts. <laughs> oh, but it's just coconut, like raw coconut. I'm still wearing the Clinique Clinical Better Even, and it does have SPF in it. Like I know I recently did a Sephora haul showing you guys what I got, and a lot of people were like, oh my God, where's your SPF? Oh my God. If I'm going outside, I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> and my makeup has SPF 25 in it. The more you know. So I don't really have to worry about putting too much on my face. I have SPF that I put on my body, like my arms and such. If I'm going to the beach or something like that. And then if I'm not wearing makeup, I use Super Goop Barely Seen Sunscreen on my face. So don't worry, I'm an advocate for SPF. Don't worry. Yes, even us melanated people need SPF. Especially with this Miami sun, like, it be doing some things. Like, I like what it does, but sometimes it can do the most. Okay, so let me just go ahead and refresh my lip. I think I'm gonna wear a red lip tonight. I'm gonna put on my outfit and get it together. I can't do it while talking to y'all because I'm never gonna get myself done. But I will check back in when I'm ready. guys so I would absolutely love to partake in some of this champagne but it is 641 reservations are at 715 I have to call my Alto and although Alto is really wonderful car service I do have a code Monroe 20 all capital letters I believe it's for $20 off your first two rides you still have to kind of sign up for a membership but after those two rides you can also just <laughs> you know, do what you gotta do if you don't wanna keep it. I think it's like $12.97 a month after that. It's an amazing service. They have it in Miami. I believe they have it in Washington, D.C. I think they have it somewhere in Texas as well. So yeah, I will link it down below. Amazing car service. They have um, hand sanitizer, umbrellas, water, so many cords, everything you will ever need. And they are their drivers are actually trained to only work with them. All of the fleets of the cars are the same lovely very like luxurious vibes anywho my dress for this evening it's coming across very pink but it's actually quite red not as red as my lip but a beautiful kind of highlighter bright red this is a dress by amanda up richard i've actually worked with them a few times i went to my first polo match with them with Love Clee Clo. Y'all gotta go back and watch that vlog. Um, Cause that was fun. It was the, my first and only time going to Love Clee Clo and it was amazing. I went with them, I wore one of their dresses. So I love the brand. Actually, the last time I was in Miami, I wore a pink and red 
tie-dye asymmetrical dress to a party. It was actually a Caribbean party, Revive Brunch, here in Miami. I had such a good time and that dress is also Amanda Up Richard. So if you're looking for just really amazing, form-fitting, everyone's gonna love your dress and ask you where it's from, dresses, check them out. I will link this dress down below as well as a few other of my favorites. I am wearing the size medium. It's a halter dress. It is cut on a bias. It has a little ruching here on the side. Ugh. And I mean, I'm going to sexy fish, so I feel like this is a sexy look. So let me give you guys the full look. I love seeing those city, city lights in the background. The lip is NARS Mysterious Red Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Look how stunning this dress is. It's giving everything. You see the little ruching on the side here? I want you guys to see that. It's a halter, it has like two little clips around the neck and it's also kind of like, what is this called, a cow neck? Very, very nice. My legs are shining. Y'all, that is that Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka body lotion. It smells incredible. Look how shiny my legs are. Shining, gleam, gleaming. Ugh, so good. And then the shoes are the Gia Times Pernil test back heels that I've been wearing while I've been here. I went with like a nude brown shoe because I am going to wear my Fendi bag that I picked up from the design district here in Miami. The red of my dress is the exact kind of red like this. And then you have the nude of the brown and that kind of matches my shoes. So that is tonight's look. Very colorful, very bright. I'm gonna put on a lip, choose a fragrance, and go ahead and call my car because I'm gonna be running late. And I don't wanna be too late because this is like a work dinner. Let me choose a fragrance and we will get ready to go. All right, y'all, so for my earrings, I chose the Chanel Dangle earrings. Tonight's scent, of course, Gentle Fluidity Gold. I just bought this yesterday at Neiman Marcus. You would have seen that. <laughs> in the previous Miami vlog. I love how this smells. But also that Myrrh and Tonka um, body cream smells really good too, so. You guys are flashing. I'm gonna grab an extra battery to put in my bag. I've already called my Alto. I think it's raining, but Altos always have umbrellas in them that you can take for free, which is amazing. So, we're gonna do that. Ooh, I smell good. I look cute. Let me snap some quick pictures on my phone so I can do like a carousel on the gram tomorrow. By the way, if you aren't following me, please give your girl a follow at Monroe Steel. Maybe go in like four or five of my photos so I, I'm showing up in your feeds. I've been noticing a decline in Instagram showing my photos. It's across the board, it's everyone. I'm trying not to complain too much, but I'm creating some fire content over there and I want the people who are actually following me to see it. If you need to like a few posts um, in a row so that I continue to pop up in your feeds, any support helps your girl out, a comment, a share. I do appreciate it. Alrighty, let's go.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the vlog. I woke up today, I made my bed, I opened up these beautiful blinds and I stepped out onto the patio and I watched the sunrise. Um, I always check my phone for the time. The sun rose today at 7.08. It was just breathtaking. It's been a really long time since I've seen the sunrise. I usually catch it when I stay at East Miami. This was stunning to be this close and see it rise up over the water. And the sun is huge. Like you kind of forget how small we all are in the grand scheme of the universe. <laughs> But I love seeing that a lot of other people, well not a lot, but a few people gather on the beach like with their families or their friends or their spouses to watch the sunrise this morning with me from my balcony. Um, they went on the beach though, which was really nice. I think tomorrow, uh, if it's a nice day, I'll go down to the beach. So far, loving staying at the W. Oh, I made myself an espresso. Lord knows I need this y'all. I had a really rough night last night. So last night, sorry I did not record any food. It was actually a soft opening of Sexy Fish, which is I believe a London restaurant that has come to Miami. Um, it was supposed to actually, I believe, go to New York, but then the pandemic happened so it came to Miami instead. The decor is really great. I pulled up and it was like, oh, this is cute. I love the outfits that everyone who works there wears. It's very reminiscent of Versace with like seashells and starfish on very brightly co colored like pink and purple and blue blazered suits and pants really really cool the decor inside is all about like fish and like tiles like scales almost um the whole entire place has a floor made of like see-through glass that kind of looks like scales it's really really cool i was able to get like some video of like the stairwell so you can get the vibes and also their bathrooms are insane they have like seashell fountains lots of mirrors kind of like everything looks kind of see-through like water with fish and sea animals and really really instagrammable like everywhere i turned there was a girl taking a photo in the bathroom but the bathroom is something to see you can kind of get the feel of how the actual restaurant and decor is just from looking at the bathrooms um, but we actually weren't allowed to take any video or photos of the food of the actual restaurant where people were sitting and eating because it's a run through a soft open and they don't want i don't know they don't want like the press just yet i wasn't able to actually uh, record the food but let me tell y'all the food was delicious everything i got was delicious i actually got the chilean sea bass y'all the best sea bass i've ever had in my life it literally just melts on your tongue it was seasoned to perfection we had a various assortments of seafoods they also have different other meats on the menu but the menu was small because it was a soft opening but i had an amazing time with my girl ria i wore that stunning amanda up richard dress i got so many compliments on that dress and of course my fendi bag so i will link that dress down below i mean you guys can check it out i actually think i saw that on an ad oh at the w so I told Rhea, I was like, Rhea, do you think they know that I'm an influencer? Like, why are they treating me so nicely? <laughs> Clearly, I've never stayed at a W Hotel. A lot of people are probably screaming at the screen if you stay here that this is what they do for everyone. And I'm like, oh, so everybody gets champagne and everyone gets a Hello Kitty um, chocolate that you break with a mallet and everyone gets a concierge person that like you contact if you need something that's amazing like that's incredible i mean i'm sure it's included in the price and the price is pricing but i love that you don't get anything like that at the one and it's a lot more expensive and like i didn't get any champagne or a concierge person or a free cake so i'm loving it and i'm loving the views here um incredible just looking out at the palm trees and at the water and i might actually stay an extra day i don't know yet because it snowed yesterday in a lot of southern states um and so I don't know if I want, I'm sure things are backed up. So I don't know, I might stay an extra day. Oh my God, this is delicious. Anywho, the robe is Soma Intimates because I know someone is gonna ask, it's a small medium. 
I'll link it down below. It's probably on sale too, girl. So I really wanted to wash my hair last night and put it into a low bun, but of course I didn't. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Every time I get back to the house, I'm like ready to climb into bed. I've turned into one of those people. Yeah. I might still do it. I don't know. I'm thinking today I might head to the design district. I also want to do a boat ride today, but I need to look at the weather. I want to do a speed boat ride. I would like to do a sunset one, but we'll see. I do have some packages in. Thankfully, like I've been sending things to Ria's and she's fine with that, which is wonderful. She's a great friend. I have a little something from Mason Margiela Fragrances. I also ordered some things from Hanifa, the newest collection, and I finally got those things in. So I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys today. And then we will get ready and we will head out. But I think for now, I'm just going to rest and relax for a few hours. Um, and then I'll get myself together. I do want to do a bike ride today. Like I have so much, <laughs> I have so much I want to do. Then I'll take a shower and then I'll get ready and then I'll do my unboxing and then I'll head to the design district. I'm hungry too. Where can I eat? I've been trying to eat at new places so you guys can get like a better feel of different things to eat here because the cuisine in Miami is really delicious. If you guys watch my new year's eve in new york city video where i did a sit down get ready with me portion i'm um, gonna answer a lot of questions i told you guys miami food is good like it's probably better than new york food don't debate me maybe i'll make a new york versus miami video anywho at this point i'm rambling i'm gonna get myself together and then i'll check back in with you guys soon here I did get some fresh squeezed orange juice so I can make myself a mimosa with the champagne they brought me last night so here is my breaky very excited about it so I ordered freshly squeezed orange juice I got a pot of coffee some cream sugar I got a fruit bowl and in here I have a croissant with egg, cheese, and bacon. So let's eat.
y'all so i got myself together i took a shower did a quick um makeup look this is the same makeup look i did for new year's eve with literally just a different lip i made myself a little mimosa with my champagne thanks to the w hotel it's a stunning day i thought it was going to be like overcast and such but it is beautiful i'm standing here watching glamazon tay <laughs> i love i love tay she really she actually reminds me a lot of myself she's fun anywho i thought i would talk to you guys for a quick second before i do my unboxing because i've been getting so many like dms about people just saying like how how do you do what you do how do you block out the negativity and look it took me a long time to get used to the amount of uh criticisms and just people's opinions of me i used to be really into like reading every negative thing that people would say about me and that really with my head it would make me feel super insecure it, it would make me not even want to post anything or say certain things or just be myself and i was starting to censor myself based on people's opinions or negative opinions about me now here's the thing everyone is entitled to their opinion but their opinions are not facts the only opinion of you that matters is yours now to me i am the flyest i am the smartest i am the finest woman walking this earth and i really believe that i mean you know and what i don't got i make up for a personality so it's like no one can tell me about me because i know me better than somebody on the internet who watched one video and made an opinion about me or someone who thinks uh, you know i'm ugly or, or this or that i i don't have a problem like in any aspect of my life so i'm secure with me and so that makes it very easy to let that stuff roll off my back i also just i stopped reading stuff people wrote negative about me i delete comments i don't respond to trolls <laughs> if someone is really a troll that just means they're a fan because they have to watch everything you're doing in order to talk shit about you period so don't read too much into what anyone and i mean anyone whether it's your mom your daddy your cousin your sister if it's your family your best friends take what people have to say about you with a grain of salt because the only the first and the last opinion of you matters is you and that's it and i think very 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 highly of myself and it's not because i'm cocky or i think i'm better than anyone i've been from the bottom and i've been to the top so that's what it is i would say it took me like two years of just not reading that stuff not engaging with trolls not for me to just be like oh if so, if i see something i don't like it that person getting blocked I'm not giving nobody a second chance to leave crap. I, I I just, I set boundaries and I stick to my boundaries. Some people appreciate that, some people don't. Sometimes a boundary to someone means that you're cutting off access to you and they don't like that. That's just the luck of the draw. Look, you guys, if you think you're great, that's all that matters. If you have a passion and you wanna put yourself out there, there's always gonna be someone who has something negative to say. I mean, even people talk bad about Jesus. If you're a Christian, you know, you know. Expect it, but don't dwell on it. Like, don't let that define whether or not you do something because you only got one life. And trust me, I'm out here living mine while the hater is watching. So cheers to that. Cheers to thinking highly of ourselves this year, being our best selves, not engaging in negativity, shutting, that out of your mind and focusing on being the best you and making yourself happy and making sure you're doing things that make you proud of yourself not just other people being proud of you my chat that's how i'm leveling up that was probably the number one thing i did to level up in 2021 and i'm carrying that same energy into 2022 no negative vibes 
I'm just not allowing it. And you shouldn't either. All right, you guys. So this top is an oldie but a goodie from Jack and Loose. It's literally a twist front uh, t-shirt. I don't think they make this anymore, but if they do, I'll link it down below. In the back, it's just a regular tee, but you can actually wear it either way. I like to wear it this way because I'm wearing uh, high-waisted jeans, so not so much tummy is out. But I like this look. I'll show you guys the full look in a minute. I think I'm just gonna wear these Anna Louisa earrings. The necklaces are from Majuri. And we are going to get into this haul. So I have two pieces in from the Hanifa Runway collection, like the most recent collection. I'm very excited about these pieces. Um, and then I also have a little something in from Margiela Fragrances. And I think that's it. So let's go into the living area where the light is just immaculate and let's get into this haul <sighs> all right guys let's get into this haul this lighting is everything and i'm just like looking out at the palm trees and the beach and the sun shining and i do not want to go back to new york but i have to anywho so i got two pieces from the hanifa runway collection and i'm loving them first up Hanifa is known for very thick knits. I have a two-piece knit set from her with the top and a bottom. I love that set. I also have a green knit dress and a few other pieces. I, I, I get something from every collection. So when I saw this come down the runway, I absolutely had to have it. It is this stunning purple maxi dress. It's form-fitting, it has buttons up the front here and it does have buttons down the side these are just for decoration they don't actually unbutton which i actually thought that they did that would that would be really cool if they did but still really beautiful very thick very stretchy now i'm usually a size medium in life or us size six but i've noticed that hanifa pieces tend to run big so i always get a small in everything and everything usually fits great the small fits perfectly it's very form-fitting this knit is very thick it's heavy it sucks you in in all the right places it gives you that stunning hourglass figure and i actually really really love how long it is so you can wear a nice tall heel and it just makes you look so statuesque which is what I love about Hanifa pieces. It also comes with an extra button just in case, but uh, absolutely stunning. I live for her knit pieces. They are worth every single penny. I mean, look at that quality. The quality is just everything. It cannot be beat. I'm actually gonna pack this and take this back to New York with me instead of leaving it here in Miami because I, I think this dress is a little too thick for Miami even on the coldest day. So I'm gonna take this back to New York and perhaps this will be a really great look for New York Fashion Week. Now, in addition to that dress, when I saw this dress, I had to have it. You guys know I live for color. And so I went ahead and got this long maxi dress from Hanifa, ugh, it is great. So this is a stretchy material. I actually thought that this was a knit as well. I wish it was. I think it would be better quality if it was. Um, so it is more like a stretchy fabric that when you stretch it too much, it kind of loses its color. But I did get the size small and the size small fits really well. I like the shape of it. As you can see, it has kind of like an hourglass shape. So it's really accentuating your curves and of course this is super long just like the last dress and so you can wear it with a nice tall heel you look very statuesque and i mean it's the colors for me you guys know i live for color and i think this is just a show stopping dress if i had to choose between this dress and like more of the knit dresses i would definitely go with the knit i feel like you get more bang for your buck more quality for your money but this is still a stunning dress and i'm definitely going to keep this and wait to the perfect moment to wear it. Maybe this will be great for like next year during Art Basel or something like that. So those are the two pieces I got from Hanifa, which is a black owned business. I love the brand, it's incredible. I will link both pieces down below and you can check them out. Now, the next piece I got in is from Margiela uh, Fragrances. I am on their PR list, so they are always like sending me fragrances and things and keeping me in the know. So let's get into that. All right, guys, first of all, Margiela has some of the best packaging ever. Absolutely love this box. 
they sent over i thought this was fragrances but they're actually candles which i'm really super excited about you guys know i love a good candle and i've never actually tried out mason margella candles i didn't even know that they had candles so here we have by the fireplace i already know this is gonna smell good i'll take one out and show you guys but i don't think i'm gonna take them all out because i'm definitely gonna take these and put them in my storage just because oh my god as soon as i took the plastic off oh my god you guys wow this is potent in like the best way very aesthetically pleasing beautiful just beautiful this is by the fireplace and it is burning wood and chestnut that is exactly what it smells like i mean it smells like i'm inside of burning <laughs> wood but like slightly sweet oh wow i love this and i love how it looks very very aesthetically pleasing oh and i'm actually loving these matches too like they're black with the white tip look how long they are that is really really fancy this is gonna look great in my apartment like or not my apartment in my house in my living room oh this will be so perfect so i also got jazz club the fragrance description is heady cocktails and cigars i mean it sounds like a good time it says it was created in brooklyn in 2013 how cool is that and then here we have bubble bath i actually have the bubble bath perfume so i know that this is very light very fresh i could probably put this in the bathroom the fragrance description is comforting clean accords i know i said i wasn't gonna open it but y'all know the Taurus in me. I have to smell it. These are too heavy to carry back to New York only to bring them back. So I'm going to have to stop by my storage. Oh, wow. They are really potent. Their candles, their candles really have a strong smell. Like it's going to last. This is going to make your whole house smell like this. This is the bubble bath and it smells incredible if you guys are interested i don't know if they sell this set or if this was just like a pr gift but i will link every candle they sent me down below and if they have this set i will link this set down below if you're really into candles and like you know self-care and aesthetics this is where it's at oh so special thanks to mason margella fragrances i actually have on my margella jeans today I talk about these jeans so much. I should actually stop by their store today um, in the design district. I love their fragrances and now I get to partake in their candles. So special thanks to their PR team for sending this out. I'm gonna pack this up. I need to pack a few things up <laughs> and take them to my storage because my, my luggage is already over. I don't know how it happened. Like I barely packed anything for this trip. I literally came here for work. Really, really loving these candles. Oh, so nice. So that's it for my unboxing. I'm gonna get myself together, put on a shoe, put on a fragrance, choose a bag, pack up some things that I wanna take to my storage. And then we are gonna call a car and head over to like Midtown, kind of the design district area. I'm gonna see if I can get a reservation to this restaurant I've been wanting to go to. It's a Greek restaurant. It's very, very famous here in Miami and a lot of people have been asking how it is. So I want to go there, check it out, eat, and give you guys a review of the place. So let's get ourselves together and start our day. All right guys, so here's my look for today. Jacquemus top, Margiela jeans. Of course, I'm wearing my favorite Bottega Veneta mules. They're so comfy, I can wear them all day. Today's scent is Mason Gentle Fluidity by MFK. This is the gold one, by the way. I don't like how the silver one smells, but the gold is giving looks. Oh, it smells so good. It's gonna take me forever to use this huge bottle. If you were to watch my previous Miami vlog, you saw me shopping at Neiman Marcus. I bought this 
Um, this is the only size they have, but it does come in a smaller size that's a lot cheaper, but I cannot find the smaller bottle anywhere, so I just figured I would go ahead and get the bigger bottle. But that is my look for today. I'm gonna go with my Fendi spaghetti, the colorful one. Get that for you guys so you can see. I've been wearing this bag non-stop. It's my favorite bag at the moment. It just goes with everything. People love this bag. People stop me on the street and ask me about this. If you watched my Art Basel vlog, you would have saw me buy this bag from Fendi. So yeah, that is today's look. I want to finish up my mimosa so we can head out. I also need to see if I can get a reservation at this restaurant. I think it's called Madeline or something like that. Let me look it up. Okay guys, so yeah, it's called Mandolin. A bistro so let me see if I can reserve a table the last time I tried there was like nothing it's kind of early so let's see if I make it for 2 30 oh no how do they only have something at 1 and it's after 1 Boom. all right guys so before I head out I want to break my hello kitty candy this is gonna be so satisfying all right guys let's get into it how cute is this? Tape here. There we go. How cute. I have this little mallet. Are you ready? Oh my god, it's not working. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, this is not working. <laughs> Period. Okay, so that was very anticlimactic, but the chocolate is really good. I love white chocolate. And then inside is like pretzels and other chocolate things. I couldn't get a reservation to the Greek restaurant. Totally booked. So I think I'm just gonna head to the design district, do a little shopping and then come back here to the one and just have dinner in the restaurant downstairs. That'll be fine. And then I have to pack. So I'm heading back to the cold tomorrow. But then I'll be right back. So there's that. Gotta look on the bright side.
y'all so i just got back from the miami design district i did buy a little something so let me get myself together and i will unbox this for you guys um and then i think we're gonna end out the vlog i think this one might be a little bit shorter but hey a girl needs to relax so <laughs> guys so I actually went to my storage unit because it's almost February and I think I will be attending New York Fashion Week I'm not sure just because I might be still in Miami but just in case I wanted to pick up these boots that I got during Black Friday I did an unboxing and the art balls video of all the Black Friday things I bought so check that out if you want to see but I did buy two pair of boots and I wanted to get them and take them to New York just in case I want to like, well, I do want to style them up and wear them in New York in a colder climate and maybe perhaps wear them during New York Fashion Week or even Paris. And if I happen to go to Paris, I'm definitely going to go to New York first, get all of my like winter things and then fly from New York to Paris because flights from New York to Paris are a bit better than flights from let's say Miami to Paris. So, aren't they stunning? If you didn't see the unboxings of the, these and me trying them on, you gotta check it out. These are brought by the brand Mista, I believe. It's pronounced M-I-I-S-T-A. But I love these boots, they're chocolate brown, they're so retro and cool. So I got these out of storage and I also got these out of storage. So they're like this buttery cream yellow color that zip on the side. They're really giving cowgirl but modern and I absolutely love them. So I got those out of storage to wear perhaps during New York Fashion Week. I don't know if you guys saw these sunnies that I've been wearing today but they are from Celine. They are a recent buy, I got them for Christmas. If you watch my What I Got For Christmas unboxing video, you would have seen these, but I absolutely love them. I feel like they look better with, with my slick back bun or my uh, long, long braids, but still a vibe. I'll link these down below, but let's get into it. So after I went to my storage unit, I headed over to the Miami Design District. I specifically wanted to head into Fendi and also I wanted to head into Tom Ford. Did go into Fendi, I looked at a bag. It's a bag I've looked at twice already. It is another baguette, but I already have two, but I think I might need a third one. And also the bag would match perfectly with what I got from Tom Ford. So after I checked out Fendi, um, and just kind of walked around, checked out all of the, the stores, just looked in the windows to see if there was anything new. Um, I went into Tom Ford. Luckily, they let me in. Sometimes in the design district, you have to have an appointment, but I just kind of stood at the door and <laughs> someone came up and was like, do you have an appointment? I was like, no, I can call and make one. And she's like, what are you looking for? And of course I said, shoes. And she was like, okay, you can come on in. You guys. First of all, the Tom Ford store is stunning. Okay, it's stunning, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've been wanting these forever. I think they are so chic. Ugh, look at this. I believe they are called the padlock heels. I'm not sure, but here is the packaging. I loved all of the different colors they had in this shoe. They had like a denim gold. They had denim, um, they had black, they had hot pink, they had like a highlighter yellow, even lavender. They have such fun colors. I have never owned a pair of Tom Ford shoes, so I didn't know how they would fit. So I went in to try, just try any pair on that they had in my size. They only had one pair, one out of all of those incredible colors. So I told him to keep me in mind in case any more of these shoes come in my size. I'm definitely gonna get them. They are so comfortable, at least from when I wore them in the store. But you guys, black. 
I finally got a pair of uh, the padlock heels. Uh, look at that gold heel. Oh, it's so sexy. I know it looks like you can't really walk on it, but I walked on carpet in these and on like marble floor and it was absolutely fine. They are barely there. They wrap around the ankle and of course they have that classic little gold padlock. These are like a milky white. Well, not a milky white. These are, are like an egg white. It's an off-white color. Y'all know I have so many white heels. I don't need any more. <laughs> but I tried these on and they were so beautiful on my foot, especially especially in my Margiela heels. I had to buy them. And now I want them in every single color. Really, I want the denim, the blue denim. I think those are so hot. I want the blue denim for sure. And I either want the denim gold or the all gold. I actually ordered the all gold um, maybe like two weeks ago and they never came. They like got stuck in customs somewhere in Italy or something. So I just canceled the order because I had been waiting for them for so long. I just figured they, they would never come. But it's very hard to find these in my size. I am a true like US size 10. And these shoes, I have to get a 42, which is like a 12. Euro. Usually I can get a four I can get away with a 41, which is a euro size 11, but these run small to me. And just for them to actually fit my foot perfectly, I had to size up to a 41. But stunning shoe, very happy to have them. Perhaps I will buy the Fendi bag that I've been looking at that would go so great with these soon. Um these are definitely like a Miami shoe. I should have just went back to my storage unit and put them away, but I wanted to show you guys. And I'm about to pour some more of this bubbly from earlier because I'm leaving in the morning and it's just gonna go to waste and I don't want that to happen. I wanted to try out this Greek restaurant, but I could not get reservations. So I ended up just going to Swan. I know I've been to Swan so many times. <laughs> you all are probably sick of me going there, but I always get the short rib fusilli pasta. It's so good. It's so good. Like the meat is so tender and seasoned to perfection and then the pasta it's just like the right amount of carb to go with the meat so delicious of course i got the regular swan drink that was really good this time i actually got dessert though i hardly ever get dessert i got this meringue fruit custard type of deal and then it came with a passion fruit drizzle yo Y'all, that was the best dessert I think I've ever had in my entire life. It's so good and it, it has just these bursts of flavors, that passion fruit syrup, uh, and then with the cream and then with the, the meringue is not a lemon meringue, it's just meringue. So it's just barely sweet crunch on the bottom with all of the different types of exotic fruits. It was delicious. I'm gonna be dreaming about that dessert. I am. If you ever go to Swan, definitely check out that dessert. They recently changed their menu, but all of my favorite things are still on the menu. If you're by yourself or even if you're with a friend and you don't have a reservation, you're just like walking around Miami Design and you decide to pop in there, just tell them you want to sit at the bar. You get full service at the bar. You, you can usually get seated right away versus having to wait an hour for like a table. But delicious meal. Ah, <sighs> such a lovely day. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pack. Cause I have to leave in the morning, y'all. Gotta go back to cold New York City. I'm not looking forward to it. And I have some winter content I have to shoot for a few brands. So there will be at least one or two New York vlogs before we're back in Miami, hopefully for good. Cheers to that. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up. The thumbs up does help me. The more thumbs up I get, the more YouTube shows my videos, the more interaction you have with my videos, whether that's saving it, sharing it, leaving a comment, the more people are shown the videos. So I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all have been killing it with the thumbs up. Like I'm getting just the enough to push my videos out each time. And I, I appreciate you guys so much for that. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you join the family. Also click the notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you don't miss it. Cause y'all know 
if you miss it especially if like i do a haul in it stuff be selling out and i want y'all to have first dibs okay thank you guys for joining me here in miami everything i did everything i wore every place i went is linked down below save it so that when you come into town you could try some of these places out all right guys love you see you in the next one cheers